toes till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us Hey loves, welcome back to my channel, Tara Gay Nicole here How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing fantastic I am doing fantastic if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks so much for coming back. If you are new and you like what you see, what we do here is Poshmark videos, we do budgeting videos, we do planner videos, we do Etsy new releases, all that. If you're only here to just drink your water, mind your business, and be frugal and happy, that's good too. If you're interested in anything I just said, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would love, we would love to have you. All right, today's video is going to be our online income. So I'm trying to figure out my online income so that I can go ahead and pay some bills. Get this this debt rolling on this snowball. So I'll be so happy when this Capital One car is paid off so I can start paying off my car because there will be tears when the car is paid off. There might be tears when this Capital One is paid off. But um, So let me get where we're at in there from a little bookmark. Take it out. I'm a little happy planner. Income tracker. Well, here we are. Let's zoom on in. I was able to find some of the numbers for the previous months, but I didn't pay taxes or anything to myself, which is bad. So I'm going to literally have to figure out how to get that money back. And I didn't figure out the supplies yet. But this is why we're tracking for March now because clearly we need to do this because I wasn't doing it before. So let's fill in our March numbers because I believe all that's coming in, at least for March, is here already. So as far as Etsy, I was sent $150.82. Thank you, beautiful people out there. I love y'all because... Without you, that, my dears, would not be possible. Okay? And then Poshmark was... I'm going to give you... Yeah, I'm going to give you the full amount. So it was two oh five seventy, But we're going to have to do some things with that. And then YouTube... Girl, I got some YouTube money. I got some YouTube money. I, I got some YouTube money. I didn't get any last month and I got some in January. It's just, I don't know. It's hit or miss for me. I guess I'm just not that. I'm very consistent with my channel nowadays. So I don't really know why or how that gets calculated. But anyway, I was happy. I'm not even going to, you know, I'm just not going to front. It had me open. Don't front. You know, I got you open. And then, anyway, so there is that. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and add all that together. Eighty-two. This is gross. This is not with anything minus. So one fifty eighty-two. Make sure y'all can see. If I back up a little bit. Plus two hundred five seventy. Plus one fifty three seventy. Um, five ten twenty-two is the total of that. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing some lines now. Um. What I think I want to do, and see, this is why I didn't finish all the months, because I knew that this was going to happen. Why is this looking like it don't want to work? All right. So what I'm going to make this is actually this minus this. I mean, all these numbers, and then this line would be the total line. And that's 5, 10, 22. Ah, uh, supplies. So I know that out of the, but I think we should figure out the taxes money first because taxes don't care whether or not you bought supplies or not. Taxes just wants all its money. Uncle Sam says, give me my money. Uh <laughs> Take the 20% taxes out first of the entire total. So minus 20%. would be for oh hmm I want to know what that is though so whoa taxes is 10204 really that's how we doing it wow so taxes are 10204 
5, 10, 22. Y'all can't see. I do that all the time. Minus 10204. 408. So that leaves us with 408. See, this is all wrong. Um, 40818. That's after taxes. So we initial gross was 5, 10, 22 after taxes, 408, 18. And I need to make a, a different, um, what's that called? A different bank account to put my taxes in. They shall not be touched. And then what I need to do now, so we just all, I'm glad, I'm so glad I did it this way and didn't fill out the whole sheet. That way I can, I can learn. I'll be learning. And that way for supplies, so this month, I know that I bought um, $36.76 from Amazon. And I think that's $36.70. And that was Amazon. It's AMZ for now. Um, and I know... I think that's all I bought. I think that's all I used out of this money. Because I really haven't touched the Etsy or the YouTube. And I know from the Poshmark, that's what I took. So I have thirty six seventy from from Amazon, and that's four oh eight really eighteen minus thirty six seventy. So what we really have is three seventy one forty eight. And <laughs> I really, I personally don't have that because I have an item in this money here from Poshmark. That was a consignment item, and I believe I owe that person twelve to fifteen dollars, somewhere in there. So I'm automatically going to think of it as I'm just going to automatically on my mind because my brain is not that great right now. It's in the nighttime, three seventy one forty. I'm going to just take twenty dollars from that, and I'm going to say on a scrap piece of paper that I'm actually going to say I have three fifty to work with. Oh, that's a lot. I got a lot. So these are the real numbers, and then I would have to like minus um, the consignment item to get the actual total, and then write it here. That's left over, but I don't know that yet, so I'll do that on my own time. But that's for the consignment item, and that's what I really have left. But I know it's not more than twenty bucks. So three fifty is what we're gonna say we're working with right now. Now I have to figure out what am I gonna do with 350. Currently what we're paying off is the Capital One. I almost, like, is it bad that I almost don't wanna put $350 to that? What is wrong with me? Like, we're supposed to be paying debt. It just gets so emotional. I'm like, why do I have to put so much money towards that? That's just crazy. Um, but I know I have to, I know I should, it hurts my heart. It's almost like if I was doing it in smaller increments, it wouldn't even bother me. But since this whole journey is about paying off debt, your girl will be going over to her Capital One once she moves the Poshmark money back over and moves the YouTube money back. Oh no. Yep. Move the YouTube money back over minus the taxes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pay that 300 and no, you know what? I'm paying 300. I'm gonna keep $50. Don't judge me. I just can't. So I'm gonna keep $50. Maybe I'll buy myself something nice. I do need more sneakers. I'm gonna keep $50 aside. I'm going to put $300. I'm just right over here because this is not done yet. I'm gonna take $300 today, 328. And I'm going to put it to my Capital One credit card. And that's what we're doing with that. And I will put the $50 probably in my Hold Your Horses account just for anything I might want later. But guys, I didn't realize how hard that was. Like it really, I think when I pay little bits like 50 or 60 or 100 here and there, it doesn't seem as bad. But when you have $350 to put towards one thing, it really hurts my heart. Like that's just debt. Has that ever happened to you guys? I, I think that's the first time I'm actually experiencing that through this entire journey. And I'll tell you right now. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not a fan. 
Okay. Not a fan. <sighs> but I will be a fan when that daggone credit card is paid off. So there's that. Um, but that's it, guys. That was my update on my income for online. I need to get my butt moving back on Etsy as well. Poshmark is just suffering. There's not much I can do about YouTube except keep pumping out the videos and hoping you guys watch, like, comment, and subscribe. But, like, Poshmark, I have just been... I haven't sold anything in weeks. Like, it's just been horrible. Not motivated. Just can't find the time. I need to do better. I need to make a better schedule. But I am working on a block schedule for myself that I'll be doing as a Miss Maker Challenge. You guys will see that soon. So, this is what I've got. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first actual income tracker situation. And I hope you enjoyed it. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. And I'm so, so grateful for you. Have a wonderful, blessed day.